Hi there, welcome to Expose TV brought to you by Stelt Productions. I'm Sarah and will be your host for the rest of the show. In the studios with us, we have the Chutney's youngest living legend. Do you want to know who that is? Well, I hope you stay tuned with us because not only is the, does he have that title, but he is a singer, songwriter, and a changing with the times kind of an entertainer. We have so much to ask him. He's got so much going on, and we'll try to get it all fit in in this interview. Right here at Stealth Production Studios, here he is, Nishan Prabhu. Who, you may say? Well, we all know him as Nishan Dehitman. Welcome to Expose TV. How are you? Thank you, Sarah. Thank you for having me. Now, it's, it's such a pleasure. Uh, we've always wanted to have you on, and now that you are here, we're going to ask as many questions as possible. I know. Fire away. Okay. You are a household name in the West Indian community. There isn't an event, a party, a wedding, anything that you attend that does not play your music. Two biggest hits, Don't Hold Me Back and Mr. Shankar, has cemented your name in the music industry. How has that all come about and how has it propelled your career, your singing career and you being an artist? Well, <clears throat> it's funny, eh? these two songs that you call, Don't Hold Me Back and, and Mr. Shankar, really is, is, is one of two of the biggest songs that I ever performed and, and recorded and sang, right? Do Hold Me Back came about when I was in New York, um, 96, 97. My mom asked three of my brothers and myself to record a song on her CD. And Do Hold Me Back was one of the songs, and that was one of the big songs for that year. And actually, it was my first ever recorded song. Shankar, um, it's ironic. I went back to New York, and my mom and I was there, and we did the same thing. And in Trinidad, um, this station, that's Iowa George had us have a station, 91.1, um, 91.9, .1, I think it is, and um, they start playing it. And they started to look for the guy who sung, sing that song, Shankar. And it's like, they came and they find me, I don't know, <laughs> they say, Hitman, he's the guy who do this song. They say, yeah, this song is really big, man. And these two songs um, really helped me in my career to, to understand the, ch the soca side of the stuff with Shankar and Do Hold Me Back um, cemented it in the chutney side. So bringing the two together, we have the soca chutney. And this is where the household thing come in. When you go to when you're in Trinidad, even the all, gen all races know Hitman. They know my music because it's so acceptable. They could understand it. And it's so, it's so um, the up-tempo, the Caribbean music and the chutney, that's what it is. So the people, I think they love that about it. Yeah. And we all love it. We, <laughs> and over time, people cannot get enough of oh it. God. So. That is definitely the hit. Um, that Soka Chutney, you mentioned that uh, those two songs having a, his a history with uh, Soka and Chutney. But the Soka Chutney uh, genre of music is going through a verge of change. Um, some people want to massively change, change it, um, to do away with the cover songs and to promote more original works of art. And then there's some that you know, are okay with it the way it is. What's your take on that? <clears throat> well, do you know we really cover songs? You see, for me, when I started singing um, Do Hold Me Back, and even Shankar, Shankar, listen, Mr. Shankar, if we go out, say, well, we use the Bollywood melodies, right? And there's a, a very thin line between the soca music and the soca chutney music. So when you come with the idea of doing away with stuff, we really can't do away with that because to me, when you use, like take for instance Shankar, that is Jai Jai Shiva Shankar Katara Kena and, and coming from a background where I came from, we love the Bolli Bol Bollywood music. We love the Bollywood music and um, generation of this day and this time, plenty of them don't even know the Kishore Kumar and the Mohammed Rafi and Lata Mangeshkar songs. They hear it in the remix now and a guy like me singing back a song and taking Jai Jai Shiva Shankar and putting a, a thing like, listen Mr. Shankar, this generation is paying attention to it. So when you go to the household and you hear the father playing this song in the house, children you're gonna hear them asking and, and this is what really happened. Mm -hmm. Parents come up to me and tell me these stories. You understand? And the, Bolly, the melodies of the song, as I say in the tin line, if we if we done away with the, the Bollywood melodies, then you, you wouldn't really identify the East Indian side of the Chutney Soka to the Soka music. So we need to keep that there and keep it alive too. If that help it keep it alive. And, and 
for the part of, 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 of the original melodies, we need to do original melodies. And who following Hitman music, they will know there's a lot of original songs I do. And I still do the melodies of the, the cover version songs. And, we, and up to this day, we still even sing over a whole cover version of only Hindi songs straight out of, of, um, of Bollywood. And the, I don't see that as a problem. And I think we should embrace that. Yes, we should, we should try to move forward by doing original music, but in this industry that we're in, in this chutney music industry, there's not a lot of um, innovators, there's not a lot of, um, I would say, a lot of people who know how to, to, to bring these kind of new melodies. Because, for instance, in India, right, um, when you hear a song come out from an Indian movie, before it reached to the studio and reached to the, the radio stations and where we hear these guys and them to create that melody they sit down with a harmonium some of them in america they will use a guitar okay. but the artists that we have now in this day and the, and the in, in this industry right now they do they, they don't even know how to start to do that you understand so that's why you're going to hear a lot of the cover versions and the bollywood melody because they don't know how to do that so and in a way it's good we we still doing it but we need people to actually to try, but it's very hard to keep that, that identity of the East Indian side in the music. So the cover versions is important, not to lose that and forget. And we need, so we need people to actually try to create that. And it's very hard, as I said, and I'm, um, if they follow Hitman music, this is what I'm trying to do, you know, but we can't really done away with that. I don't think we should. Okay. Well, there's your take on it. <laughs> yeah. And uh, of course, we wanted to know what you thought about it because there's so much going on on both sides of the fence. Now, your music as well as you have gone through quite a transformation. Mm -hmm. We'll get back to the physical transformation in a bit. That's, that's coming up. But on the music aspect of it, you are at the forefront of the Chutney Music Rum Songs. You've made quite a big... Uh, splash you have had uh, quite a bit of good good runnings with, with that <laughs> aspect of, of music can. during those days yeah. um, but you didn't want to continue ca your career being known for that mm -hmm. so the first wave of change came and the industry wasn't going to have it because rum songs are still in mm -hmm. then the second wave of change came about you didn't want to continue what the norm is singing mm -hmm. about women in, in that derogatory fashion demeaning and and all that aspect of it you wanted to sing about empowering women and that's taken a backlash as well so what is it ha that's happening what's this uh, evolution of music that's mm -hmm. happening in your camp and why is it happening now well it, it, it really started, uh, you know, when you go out there and, and as an entertainer, you meet a different, uh, a lot of people, have a lot of views on what they think you should be singing. You know what I mean? And coming from a background of, as we're talking about the rum songs, um, where we have, a, 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 say, a, a group of people who love to ha have a good time. And if you, if you go to a fete, come on, you go to a party, or you go to a lime or a birthday party or, or a soak up party or a chutney, um, they're going to have alcohol. Right. I mean, say if you go to church, you're gonna you're not gonna see that there. Why? Because that's not the place for it. Right. You go to a chutney show, you're gonna hear, you're gonna see it there. And then with a little party and come out with a little drinking. Some of us overdo it, of course, which we we try not. This is why Hitman <laughs> trying to help the situation. But um, when I took the stand of of not recording any more rum songs, maybe like about two or three years ago. Yes, the a lot of people said, well, Hitman don't know what he's doing because that's where everybody wanna hear and you know this. But I think um, if we're going to make a change, right, because I didn't like what I was hearing. People were saying, well, all if they do sing rum song, these people can't sing nothing else and they do can't make a hit and, you know, that kind of talk. And I was like, that, that's not true. And I didn't like what, what I was hearing about our chutney music. And I think that if, we, if, if, if the Lord bless us, bless it, man, to make all these hits with these rum songs, well, why not he can't give me hits with other songs? And I start recording other songs. This song's um, Girl You Know I Was A Drinker, that, that uh, one of the artists song, right? Um, that song was given to me. I was actually learning that song to perform it. But then when I listened to the lyrics of the song, right, it, it, it was saying that, you know, I changed the girl to a drinker. And here, you know, you're having Hitman going to a show, and this, this lady's going to come and say, Hitman, look what you're saying there. And my husband died last week, and he didn't want to stop drinking. So then you have, you put yourself in a position, right, and being in a place, you're trying to please everybody, but you can't. But then when you look at, at, at actually what is really happening 
it, it, for the for the for the music and for the people, it was not right. So I had to take that stand. And I think if you're gonna take a stand, you don't take a stand from the underneath. You take a stand from the top because where they're looking, they don't look. They're looking at up. So if Hitman is on top, then Hitman do that. I mean, I say as you said, a lot of people think we sh we think. I, but between me and you, I don't really care because I think I wanna do a right. A right cannot be wrong, and a wrong, you know, what I mean, cannot be right. So my stance for that, and I did it, and I'm still here. You know, and um, I still go to shows and I perform some of my biggest hits, which is Shankar, Firewater, and thing. And um, people love it. And when you hear some of my new songs, if you listen to Janu Medijan and um, and a couple of the independent ladies, as you said, mm -hmm. um, when we talk about <coughs> degrading ladies, I don't think I don't. We we need we need to, to 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 give love and show love to the women because women are so important to our society. You know, what I mean, in our homes, if if you your mom, your your, your sister, how could you say something? Or I mean, I say we need a little bacchanal in the music. Mm -hmm. It's obvious because we need to have fun, right? But not all the time. It's, it's, we, it, we have to draw a line somewhere. And I, that's what I did. And I believe in God and I believe He have me where He is. Not these things. And if He could bless me in one way, well, He could bless me in other ways too. So I took my stand and I still stand by that and I still go with that. Why do you think you're taking the backlash mm -hmm. of, of, of this, these changes that yeah. you're implementing? Well, obviously, you're a pioneer. And it's working by, it, 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 is, it is making a difference because um, when, I, when I took that stand a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. it had a, that year, when you, when you pick up a Chutney CD from Trinidad, nearly every song used to be a rum song. You understand? And if you pick up a CD now, if you hear from all, all the artists who are out there and you hear two rum songs, you hear plenty. So the, the change, it, it, it did make a difference and it is making a difference. And as I said, they're going to look up. And, and, and a lot of things I do in the industry, I see a lot of artists copy it. And if they could copy that, that's so good. And I'm so, and it's working, so. Well, let's hope they continue to do so. Yeah, and, and they could still sing the thing, but you know, I, I, I see it's working and it ease up. So when we had 15 songs on a CD with Tony Rum, now pick it up. You're going to see one or two. So tell me, is it working? I think it's working. Yeah, exactly. And that's, well, and this is why I feel celebrities should use that platform for not just you know their their good but for the good of the people who are, are following them the, the fans and but and this is how this is how i see this is how i see my blessing this is how i see my music career um is a blessing from god and and what are we going to do with our blessing your blessing here right now is to take this this program and to put good thing out there for people you could take this and have whatever you want on it but then well, who is going to look on at this? They, and then, then people, do, they take it lightly when they think of the next generation. Everybody talk about the children is the future. Who is helping the children? Okay. Who is setting the example for the children? The children is the future. But tell them to go and drink, tell them to go and do this, tell them to do everything wrong. But yes, the children is the future. So what the children is going to do is what they see we do. Because when they put on the TV, they're going to see Hitman. Who is Hitman? What Hitman saying? You know, and I believe so strongly in this, and I know it works. And if, and and I see the change in the music industry. A lot of people don't want to, who we hear recording it still. Nothing wrong in that. But the, the point is, that is not what all chutney is about. That is not what a hit could come out about. Is not only could make a hit. Is that no? I don't. I stand by what I believe, and I think my lifestyle and what I'm doing now it proves that. Well, and you've been on the national stage. You've been on the international stage. You've had you you are an entertainer with fantastic uh, celebration. I would say you're very celebrated. You've been on the major stages with the likes of um, Maxi Priest, Pitbull, mm -hmm. um, the late great Sundar Popo, the legend, the legend. Yeah. Uh, so all of these people, including those on the international stage. Also on the national stage, you've performed with women, mm -hmm. some of uh, whom I know you are going to mention. How did the, uh, these collaborations, they don't just happen to people, <laughs> but they've happened to you. Yeah. It just doesn't happen to everyone, I know, right? but it's happened to you. How did those collaborations just like started? How did they all uh, you know, end up happening with you? And uh, you know, how has it benefited your work? As an artist, well, I think my track records it will prove it will show how it benefit, in a sense that how people um, look at Hitman, how what they think of me, what they think of my work, 
and and what the what the music is doing to the public out there so this is my stance when i took the drum song i know they pay a lot of attention to me in my crazy days mm -hmm. so i'm going to give them something to pay attention more in a positive life right and um as you said earlier on you say chutney youngest living legend that's a, that's a very serious title i'll take it as because when you say a legend you think of legend if i look at legend i see kisho kumar i talk legends of people who did great things and they deserve that but and, and you said all these collaborations, right? And all these things happen to me. <laughs> is, is, is that what makes somebody what they are? And um, the collaborations, the, there's so much artists I, I record with. I record with Bungie collaboration. I record with Drupati. I record with um, Alison Hine. I record with, um, oh man, so much names to call, you know? And in the, in the, in the ladies' side of things, in the Chutney world, um, I got to give props to some of the, the, the women in the Chutney world. And if, when I do a collaboration, mm -hmm. mind you, the chemistry got to be right. Right. Whether if, whether if it's a guy or a woman, right? And for the women, um, one of the, the women I, I love... Um, working with is Drupati because Drupati is one of our legends and I hope people give her that prop and and and, and look up to her and give her the, that 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 give her the, the credit where credit is due for Drupati she deserve it um then we have who it have Alison Hine is is a, is a very a very very talented um person in the soca music very very respected respected and then we have Nisha B did some good work in the Chutney world and, and the chemistry with all these people were real. When we when we when we talk off stage, we communicate off stage, it's good. So being with them that way bring me to the conclusion that it's good and we're gonna work together. Somebody look Kess, me and Kess Kess came on this song with Spana with, with me. Alison was on that song too. Um Bonji, very talented guy. You know what I mean? That's some of the stuff that I, I I'm proud of. Yeah. You know what I mean? And there's so much things happening in my career that I'm blessed. And all these things that happen, I, I, I know. That's why you, I myself <laughs> does this, like, how? But I get my answer, it's God. So I would not scared to say, well, all right, I do bang the singer wrong song. Some guys at the time when I was making that decision, they say, well, oh, that's the end of hit, man. Right, but um, I mean to say, come on, if you, if you believe what you believe in and you stand by it and you believe that God is the true master and the, 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 the true one who does grant everything, you have no fear. So I'm not, I'm not scared of anything and all these blessings that come my way, I accept it and I try to pass it on to the people who is looking and the people who is listening. So somehow or the other I could give, give back to what a blessing I have. He's not only the hit man, <laughs> he's also fearless. Yeah. And you, don't, you can have them in, in, in both, both of those things in the same person as you can see evidence right here. Now, let's talk about your physical transformation. <laughs> yeah. Who or what did, do you attribute this change to, the new you? Um, well, if, if, if people following Hitman, who, who really following Hitman over the years, when I sing Don't Hold Me Back, all these times I used to be working out. And that, the first video I actually did. And you know what? That's been so long. And that's one of the first shot the music. I'd be talking about things that I did. I, I was checking. I was doing a little count there. And I have over 20 videos that, that I did over the years. Wow. And, and that's a lot. You know what I mean? And I show is more because I recently did one too. Um, and working out keeping myself in shape was always there. Then after a while doing the, the workout and everything, you tend to let yourself go. You know, so in a, in a little period of time that I was with, with the kind of rum song, I was like really dark character. So <laughs> I kind of let myself go and trying to clean up myself after that. And when I start cleaning up myself back, well, this is what you see. This is actually the real Hitman. This is actually the real Nishan Prabhu. This is actually what you see in here. It's on the inside too. You know what I mean? And, um, and I got a lot of support home. You know what I mean? There's a lot of people who encourage me. Just as there was encouraging me to go down that road, a lot of people encourage me in this road. And when you look at yourself and you feel better and you look in the mirror and you, you see yourself look good, you feel better. And, 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 when you, and, and again, I do things not only for myself. I do things now to, to, to try to help everybody else. So if they're going to see Hitman now, say, well, all right, he's up, he's so he looking good. Well, all, let me try to look good too. And what I do, I see a lot of the artists, these nowadays artists are doing it. You know what I mean? They, 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 they either they, they, they're doing something I do, they're singing something I sing, it was something or the other. So I try to do good things. So if they're going to follow, they will follow something good. So what they see right now is actually who Hitman is. Been all the time. Trendsetter. Trends, yeah. <laughs> How, uh, where did the Hitman 
Um, well, I was telling you earlier on, when I used to live in New York, right? Um, well, you know, I'm a big wrestling fan. Huh? A lot of guys are wrestling you fans. You are. Right? So yeah. am I. So, oh, yeah. Okay, I see. So, Brett the Hitman, Brett huh? Oh, my God. That's yes. that. I'm so, I'm so sad, Brett. I don't know if you've ever seen this, man. I just love you guys. And you know what? I'm so sad he's not wrestling anymore. But he was one of my favorite. And when coming up with the song, Don't Hold Me Back, and coming up with the video and stuff, I wanted a name for myself. So this is what we choose at that time, Hitman. And I write it in the back of a shirt. You must, in YouTube, somewhere is there, the first okay. video. And it's right, Hitman. And I went to Guyana. That's where it started. And when I went to Guyana, Guyana, people saw the Hitman on the back. And that was it. That was it. <laughs> so it's really a Guyanese thing. Uh, Guyana is my home. Guyana is, Guyana is my people. Which brings me... We know you're Trini to the bone, yeah. but you've been spending quite a bit of time yeah. in Guyana. Yeah. What is the energy like uh, performing in Guyana? Well, um, when I start performing in Guyana, right, I think, you know what, if you go to analyze this thing, other than Sundar Popo, mm -hmm. right, Hitman did it in Guyana. I'm not going to class myself with Sundar. Because I, 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 I cherish that guy, what he did and who he is, and he's an actual entertainer. So now was a superstar in Chutney before Chutney is superstar. So now he used to dress. So now he used to do everything, wear the shades, wear, the, wear his clothes, wow, drive the biggest car. So now was a superstar. And it's so sad that we, we industry don't have something in place to give these people the, the, the props and what they deserve. Eh? But um, Guyana and Hitman go back a long way. And I always give props to Guyana. Lately, I was down there. So over the years, they used to say, Hitman is half Guyanese, right? Uh -uh. So then that's the kind of <laughs> thing they go talk on shows when I go. So over the years, they bought in um, half Guyanese, peace Guyanese. So now I hear about three quarter. <laughs> you know? So you're crossing over. So I get, yeah. Before but this you is, know it. This is what it's, yeah, well, just now I'm whole. Eh? Uh, you know what I mean? But I'm, I'm, I love my Guyanese people because they support our chutney music. You know what I mean? And I think the, of, of, if in, the whole, in the whole East Indian kind of thing, especially with Guyana, the Guyana is one of the biggest supporters of Chutney music out of Trinidad. And respect and love them all the time. That's why I always go back to them. And I'm always there. I'm right? when, I, when I travel around the world, I represent Guyana. And I just don't even say it. And when artists was to refuse to go there, you understand? Mm -hmm. Hitman yeah. was there. And when they see Hitman mashing up the place, you understand? And Hitman bigging up Guyana, they're going down Guyana and now loving Guyana. Yeah, you understand? And I love in Guyana a long time, so all of them come. All right, good. Yeah. They know, well, they know, know what I'm talking enjoying. about. They know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Well, I know they're enjoying you being there as well. All the time. So, um, also, being an artist of your caliber, you're always working. You're always on the go. What brought you to New York this time? Oh, well, it's, it's a very, as you know, as we were talking earlier on, you know, my life, I'm um, giving back right now. Um, always giving back, but it, it's more in the front line. So this weekend was no different. This weekend um, was for a very special cause to, for a home. Um, I think it's a, a, a play park in Guyana, and it's Guyana again. So you know, Hitman gonna be there, <laughs> and um, I'm here for the for that. And the show was successful, and it's my way of giving back. And when I hear Guyana, I was here and willing to give back to the foundation and hats off to Christine Khan and the whole team mm -hmm. that pulled off the event last night and I know you guys was there too and thank you for coming and supporting it and um, this is what it is and this is just a next way of giving back always giving back we have to the Lord bless me with so much abundance and my talent I is, is my way of giving back yeah and it was extraordinary so <laughs> um, <laughs> but on that note I mean being the artist that you are being able to lend your time so freely and and so uh, graciously to charity what other events do you have coming up that we should know about as well as uh, music works of art um well this stage in my career <clears throat> i'm doing things that i want to do i'm recording songs that i want to do in a sense that as you, if you listen to my music now you will listen to the different kind of music that I do. I record with, I, rec I choose my people who I do stuff now with, right? And um, there are shows, what, what you see me on is because I I'm, I'm choose to be there. I'm, I'm not about, is like, you know, a lot of artists, when you're trying to, when you're trying to make it in the industry, you got to put yourself in certain place. I passed that stage already. I think so. And um, there are certain things we're going to do in the past. I'm not going to do that now, you know? And um, I'm here now at this stage in my career, as I said, to give back. 
and to try to set an example, you know what I mean? And um, I, I live my life in a way that I don't compromise um, what I believe in for others. You know, if I believe in something, I stand by it. And I believe that I ha the Lord have my back and I have nothing to fear. So I'm doing things that I want to do. And I know it's making a difference because when you see kids come up to you, when you see a, a, a family could play a song and don't feel shame and take it off the radio and say, I don't want my child to hear that, that, I feel proud about that. You know what I mean? And, and all the songs in the past, it was good. I, I, I love all the songs that I did in the past. I love all the rum songs. I love all the crazy songs. But I'm doing things different now. So this is, what, this is where I'm at right now. You know, it, it's all great. It's, it's all coming from a positive place. Mm -hmm. And I love that mm -hmm. about you know, any, anyone that's able to give back. So this was great to have you here. Thank you very getting much. Getting as you much, much as you were able to give us. Thank you very much. I know I've learned quite a bit and I'm sure you, our audience, have, have also. So we want to thank you so very much for being on Exposed TV and I thank hope you, you come back whenever you, you feel like, just let well, us know. Well, um, I'm so happy to be here and I'm so happy to be in a program that, that um, have this kind of intense and seriousness about it um, to get the message out there of, of artists like myself that the, the things that we have in we head that we would like the people to know not only where they see you know what I mean and get to really know me and I, I commend you on bringing out that side of Hitman you. you know what I mean and um, this is this is what it is about and this is the kind of things as I, as you ask me what I'm doing now I, I, I'm not doing any, any interviews anymore much interviews that we doing serious stuff things that will 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 will, will worth it and, and worth why worth doing you know, and um, again, thank you for having me here. Okay, and on that note, folks, we want to thank you for joining us and staying in tune with all that's going on on this interview. And also, again, to our guest, Nishan the Hitman, for being able to speak out and doing things his own way, not being fearful, but being fearless about how he goes about handling his business because he is a pioneer, a true pioneer. And we're, our hopes of this show was to make sure that his audience, his fans and uh, his followers embrace him as he goes through this so that he doesn't go through this alone. So once again, we thank him, we thank you. And until next time, I'm Sarah with Exposed TV coming out of Stelt Production Studios. What you want?